In this video with the Anking, I will show you how to use Anki to search the web. Yeah, it's that cool. The Anki web browser add-on is absolutely fantastic. Let me show you what it does here. Uh, if anything we're learning here, let's say you wanted to look up a little more of this, you could highlight it, right click and search in web and you can search whatever you want. Uh, so you could pull it up in Wikipedia and it pulls it up just like that in this little lone box and you can keep browsing within this browser here, which is super nice. Now, there are different settings here. If we go to the Anki web browser config, you can make it so that it uses the system browser instead of that browser that I just had, or so that it's always visible. Uh, now, I changed some of the settings here. I added this Wikipedia and this Amboss one here. You can change that. You can copy the text that I have here like this if you want to do it. Uh, and then you do need to restart Anki for them to work. So there are different places you can go. Now let me show you an alternative to this. If we go to the add-on screen, here's the add-on that I have. Uh, it's available on 2.0 and 2.1. On 2.1 is this reviewer context. Uh, it has links to PubMed or UpToDate, which are awesome. I believe you can actually copy this from PubMed into the Anki web browser one that I have, and it would work just as well. But the Amboss one does not work. That's why I have the one that I have. Uh, this one will open in your web browser though. It will not open in its own little browser. There's also this on 2.0 that is to search Google images for selected words. Uh, they're all very handy. I use them all the time. Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all the new tips and tricks we have to share with you. Also, here's our email. Feel free to send us any and all questions and comments. We are here to help.